Oh my gosh, he's a beast. What is going on, Aqua Beast? Welcome back to another video. Today we are at Aquatics and Exotics, and um, you know it's just a stop by, and uh, I think I uh, I'm gonna have to make a purchase. This Bicher is just gorgeous, and I think he would do amazing with my Marble Matoro. So, um, uh, and then I'm also looking at this Oscar. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to do it. He's, he's probably, I don't know, 12 inches. Really good looking. And then this Oscar, I really like his colors. It's pretty. Like I will be getting the Endoliki or Biker. Or Biker, however you want to pronounce it. But yes, we're just gonna get them bagged up and uh, we'll head home. That was pretty slick, though. That was pretty I've slick. I've done it once or twice. Oh, I know you have. Oh, yeah, that's nicely insulated for sure. Good. Getting big. Yeah, they do. Quick. Sad. <laughs> Good news is he shouldn't be that hard to catch. Wait, <laughs> go right in there. There he goes. Sweet. Wow, that's gorgeous. <laughs> All right, we got them loaded up in the back. They're in boxes you know, and, and styrofoam, so they got plenty of insulation. We're just gonna chuck on a blanket too for the heck of it. It's gonna be a couple hour drive. And then they'll be ready to go. And then just huge shout out to Aquatics and Exotics. Awesome place. We'll be doing full tours here um, pretty soon, but uh, it's kind of in a rush to get these guys back. But uh, they truly striked me a, a nice deal and I very much appreciate it. Just an awesome store. Definitely check it out if you're ever around Cincinnati. It's worth the drive. 17,000 gallon shark tank in there. It's amazing. Such a cool place and awesome people. All right, let's get these guys home. All right, we made it home. Let's, uh, let's get these guys down there and get them acclimating. If you've not seen the fish cave, make sure to subscribe to check out everything that's in here and go check out previous videos. But I believe I want the endo liker, terrible at announcing that, and the bicer in here um, because I think they'll do it really well with the stingray, um, even though they're both bottom dwellers. And I think that's he's just going to be gorgeous in this tank. I think this tank is ridiculous with the Florida Gar, Silver Arrow, Peacock Bass, and the Marble Matoro Dexter. Um, and then the Oscar, I'm planning on putting in the Indoor Pond. Um, he should do really good in here and add some color to here as these guys are all a little darker. And then pretty soon here, I'm going to drill in some wood up here so I can pull on this, get out all the wrinkles in the liner, screw it up, and then I can actually fill it up, you know, almost to the tippity top. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start a, uh, a drip line because um, there's no bag, so I can't just temperature acclimate them and that's even better so they get used to the water. But uh, let's get after it. Oh man, am I so excited to get these guys in the tank. Let's see how they are doing. All right. I mean, yeah, they should have been really well insulated. Um, so I think they should be doing just fine. Both species are pretty hardy, so. Oh, this is actually the Oscar. I thought this was going to be the Leisha. Oh, yeah, he's doing great in there. Look at that orange color on him. Oh, yeah, it'll be perfect. All right, so he is set up over by the pond. And I think with him, I'm just going to pitcher acclimate. So, therefore, take one of these. Pour it in there a little bit. Until his water same temp as mine put that back on so it doesn't jump now let's get this guy situated oh my gosh he's a beast oh, oh man is he gorgeous he's going to be an absolute hoss in this tank oh he's so cool all right let's, let's start drip acclimating him when you drip acclimate this, I just got this little aerator tube, and uh, I got that end here. I'm about to give this end a suck. 
go. So I got constant water flowing into here. And uh, that should get the water temperatures the exact same. Uh, they feel pretty similar, honestly, already. But uh, yeah, he is going. I'm so excited. Um, so another reason I want to put him in here is just, I mean, the filtration is tremendous on this tank. So even though it's going to be quite a load in this tank, should be able to handle it. And then, um, you know, any of these fish will be able to go into the pond eventually. I want to keep the stingray in the tank as long as possible just because I can truly witness them up here. Also, that way he doesn't have to mess with the big catfish in the pond. Same thing with him, even though he's pretty big, so I think he would be just fine with the catfish, but still, you never know. And, I mean, there's still plenty of room here on the bottom. Typically, the gar and the pea are in the middle anyway, so. So, yeah, I'm going to just let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes, and we're going to get him in, and we're going to get the Oscar in there. All right, while well, he's been acclimating in the Oscar, I, uh, I did a little tank work and tried to add a rock for the uh, Bicer to hide, and I think the Stingray will enjoy swimming up the side of it. It's pretty smooth, so... Um, <laughs> the rock could be a little bigger. I mean, he's a big guy, but I think he'll be able to get behind it or maybe even under it. So, yeah. Dexter seems happy. But uh, it's been about 10 minutes or so just a few more minutes, and we'll get both these guys in. I am super stoked. All right, let's get this guy in. Super stoked. Man, is he a monster. Right on top of the stingray, whoops. <laughs> wow. What a beast. Dexter's taking the, the, the glory right there, but oh my gosh, he is awesome. Man, he's so cool. So actually, one of the reasons I'm calling this in, in the uh, title and thumbnail is that, um, like calling it a dinosaur fish is because these things have actually been alive, I think for like 400 million years, um, they've been in existence. So it truly is like a dinosaur. I mean, look at it, it's crazy. But yeah, it's just really cool. All right, we are uh, we're about to put the tiger Oscar in. Super excited, he is gorgeous. Should be acclimated, he's gonna go crazy too. I don't want him to jump. Oh my gosh, look at that orange. Oh yeah, it's looking good down there for sure. I think he's about a perfect size. I don't think he's gonna get picked on whatsoever, and I don't think he's gonna pick on anyone. He's going to be super fun in here. Um, hopefully he'll be jumping out of the water for food here soon. And um, it really does, he does lighten up the pond a lot, so I'm super excited to have him. And also the bike shirt, which is just ridiculous. All right, so both of them are in, the bike shirt and the Oscar. Um, I think they're both gonna do pretty darn well with what they're in. But um, I will get back to you guys tomorrow to see how they're doing and see how they're settling in. All right, so I lied. It's been more than a day. It's actually been probably a couple months. I've got a bunch of videos coming up for you guys, so make sure to stay tuned. I can't show you too much of the fish cave because a lot has changed and a lot of new stuff has been added. But the Beicher, the dinosaur fish, is doing amazing i had some trouble getting him to eat tilapia at first but now he's eating tilapia and munching actually he's posing right here so i'm gonna show you right now he has is just doing awesome and he i mean that is just a giant uh and the leakier vicer um super stoked to have him he's doing great and the pond it's uh it's been filled up for a long time now and i'm so excited about the pond more coming on this and where is the oscar he's actually hiding down here he'll come up once i 
splash the water a little bit. There he is. He's been doing great, eating really well. His orange is still amazing on him. Um, but yeah, everything, clown thinks he's getting fed. Everything's doing great in there. Um, but yeah, super stoked on both these guys. And um, I appreciate the view. Thank you very much. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. Share this video with other people. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.